And just just to add um, on on support, once once you've you've decided to to upload your your themes um, to AppWorld, um, I can't iterate enough how important it is uh, that you you answer your customer support emails in a timely manner. Um, obviously, with, within reason. Um, there is, and, and be forewarned, uh, a lot of the discussions that, that we've had uh, with people that have submitted themes and apps in AppWorld um, is, is the amount of, of support questions and just general information questions that you, you will get. So just kind of be prepared. Um, I know a, a few vendors were kind of thrown off a bit um, when their, their email started to overflow quite quickly. Uh, a couple of questions here is the uh, 80 by 80 icons, are those the biggest size icons can have on the home screen? Um, so currently it depends on which device you have. So um, the largest icons we have on any device right now are 80 by 80 and those are on the bold, the tour, and the 8900 devices. Um, so, uh, so that would be the answer to that. But if you're dealing with the storm device, uh, those are actually 73 by 73, and those are currently the biggest sized icons you could have on uh, on the storm. Um, uh, another question: Do does the software support Windows 7 64-bit? Officially, uh, we uh, don't support Windows 7 uh, 64-bit, but if it runs on it, then that's great. So there's a question here about how do I get my themes featured in BlackBerry App World. Uh, if you go to the App World uh, website on blackberry.com slash developers and then follow the links, there's actually a URL that you can contact uh, to get more information about that. There's also a second question of if I've taken the photographs uh, myself, what rights do I have to provide? When you fill out the digital rights form, that should provide all the information. So there's a question here, um, how to prevent users from distributing uh, themes uh, to more users after the download? Um, I think the best answer to that question, uh, without getting into lengthy discussions about setting stuff up dynamically using uh, pins and stuff like that, best place for that type of information um, and deciding how you want to set it up uh, would be on the developer's site, um, which I think the link will be included uh, within the next 24 hours uh, once this uh, presentation is done. Okay, so there's a couple of OS uh, kind of questions here. So uh, so uh, I'll, here's one of the questions. Why does the 8300 in Theme Studio have less features than other devices? Um, so basically, uh, so why can't it have uh, animating uh, SVG screen? So it's basically a function of the OS. So the features that are available in the OS, um, if they aren't there, then we aren't able to provide a theming option for them. Um, so, so the other question related to that is that I'm using Theme Builder now, and under my call screens, under Active Call and Incoming Call, it doesn't allow me to reposition the items. Um, so not all the devices allow you to reposition the phone call screens. So for example, the AD900, you cannot do that, but the Bold 2 and the Bold, uh, well, not the Bold, but the Bold 2, you can do it. Um, so uh, different OSs have different things that allow you to be seen. So that's why there's differences. So there's a question here about what bitmap editors can be used with this product. Uh, there's two ways to think about this question. The first is, if you are uh, setting up a default bitmap editor, you can actually work with just about any bitmap editor you so chose. Uh, that can include Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, the GIMP, Paint Shop Pro, ULead Photo Impact, and others. Uh, the second is, in terms of what image file formats can be imported in, we take uh, a number of bitmap formats, including Photoshop, bitmap, uh, BMP, JPEG, PNG, and GIF. There's a question here from George. Um, when will App World support promotions? Um, we are working on uh, these types of uh, ideas. Um, unfortunately, can't release any dates just yet, but uh, we have heard many vendors uh, ask for this, and uh, it, it is coming. Just can't release when. 
Um, a couple of questions about different backgrounds and stuff like that. So can wallpaper and backgrounds be dynamically changed through a Java app? Currently, no. Um, is there plans to be using videos as backgrounds in Composer? So you may see out there themes right now that have this animating uh, wallpaper. So uh, the way that you, you can do that is like create an animated GIF, import that into Composer, export that out and make it a looping animation and then bring that in the theme builder and you'll be able to do that. As for full DivX, um, WMV and XVID files and stuff like that, uh, possibly in the future. So there's a question here of what is a .pmb and a .pme file. And .pmb and .pme files are actually related to the Plasmic Media Engine, which ships on the BlackBerry smartphone. And the Plasmic Media Engine is essentially an, uh, an SVG-optimized version of BlackBerry for mobile. So .pmb and .pme are actually the native vector formats for um, BlackBerry Composer. Um, the difference between is one will compile everything together and one will uh, basically point to the individual image files separately. There's a question here on uh, free themes. Um, and does it count as a credit? Yes, it does count as a credit. Uh, either it's a, f a free theme or a paid theme. It's, uh, it's the same thought process around uh, a release. Once you create a release, you're going to be marked down one credit. Uh, subsequent releases, you'll be marked down subsequent credits. Another question, sort of custom related again, can apps and themes be linked to a keystroke? Um, so, uh, so yeah, a trigger could be a keystroke. Um, you can also uh, cr create other custom triggers. For example, when you have a new mail come in, you can react to that event and create an animation around it. You can also, um, for a new phone message that came in or else you cleared your phone message. So there's a bunch of different events that are available and those are in uh, Plasmic, or, uh, Composer. So if you look under the interactivity section under events and change the event there, those are the different uh, things you can have happen. So yes, you can do that. So we have time for three more questions. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. The first uh, one here is what is the percentage that a vendor receives for the sale of themes or applications in BlackBerry App World? The percentage that, we, that you receive is 80%. The percentage that we keep is 20%, and that is to cover the cost of uh, testing, maintenance, App World, and other things like that. Uh, there's a question here on uh, themes, storing themes, multiple themes on the SD card as opposed to app memory. Uh, unfortunately, right now, there, there's not a way. But we are looking at that. Yes. Uh, and uh, is there a way to push different themes to different groups on the BES and stuff like that? And I believe currently the answer is no to that question. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that one away. There's a number of, of uh, unique things that are attached to that, both from an IT policy and BEZ and theme perspective. Um, folks, thank you very much for joining us today for our webinar, and thank you for all of the questions. Uh, there were quite a few that were submitted that we didn't get to today, so what we'll look to do is uh, within the next couple of business days, we'll, we'll try and get through them all, and we'll post them on our discussion forums off of blackberry.com slash developers. Thank you. For those of you who have submitted questions that have not been answered, we will be responding to your questions after the webcast has concluded. If you would like a copy of the presentation slides referenced in this webcast, feel free to click the download link located in the resources section on the lower left corner of your screen. Thanks again to our panelists and presenters for today's informative presentation, and thank you audience for your participation and questions. Have an excellent day.